So you will need your oil pastels. And if you do not have your oil pastels, you can use your crayons or even your markers if needed. So first we want to draw our lines in different colors, meaning that each time we draw a new line, we change our color. So we see my wavy line in red and my dash line in blue and my zigzag line in orange. We could even overlap our lines like I am with my straight line over my wavy line. And we can even make up our own lines. For example, we see my spiral line in green. You want to make sure you fill up your paper as much as you can with the lines. And think about what types of lines am I drawing? Can I name them? And what do they look like? Just like Gerald Ivy, we are making an abstract artwork. Remember that abstract art does not represent images of our everyday life. Next, you will need to get out your watercolors to fill in the negative space of your paper, which is all the white space left. So if you do not have your watercolors, you can use your color pencils, crayons, or color markers, but try to do it lighter than the color of your lines so they are still visible. We see that my paint did not cover my lines and that is called resist. So you're gonna wanna change the color up a bit. Remember that the less water you use, the brighter and darker your watercolor will get. And we see that I made a little mistake and you can always go back and fix it. It is not a mistake, it's a happy accident and that is okay. Make sure you fill in all the negative space and Remember that if you want to switch colors, for example, one from blue to yellow, you want to wash your brush in your cup so it's ready and clean for the next color. Also, you see that the green that I just did is too light. So I went back, added less water, and now it is way darker. Isn't that awesome? Remember that this is an abstract artwork, so it's going to look completely different from mine. And when you are painting make sure that you let it dry